Okay, a little bit of game film. There's got to be video validation. Do you actually do what you say you do? Okay, so the first thing is we're talking about the RPO world. So right here, we're in the playoffs against Angelo State. Okay, and we're uh, we're playing. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so here, uh, sight picture. We've got an outside linebacker who is the fit player. Okay, uh, to this side. Sorry. Fit player here, freeze player there. There's our flow player, okay? So what's going to happen here for our freeze player is when they mesh, he's not going to move, okay? And what this does for us, okay, he's ready to play pass game, and that allows him to stay out there. They go off the mesh. He rises up to throw the quick game, and there's no quick game to be had. There's no ability to throw the football out here. We're playing press-type quarters. Okay, we've got a safety over the top. We're playing three over two coverage to this side. There's not a lot of ability for them to get that ball there. Now, on the other side, our fitter has got a linebacker uh, key that, that is the backfield, tight end blocks, and we're going to be able to fit off of this with the safety fitting off the tight end blocking and the linebacker fitting off of the, the uh, running back running towards him. So we've got a pretty good chance to fit this run with seven guys, right? The four, the four guys in the box, the two linebackers uh, and the, uh, and the drop in safety. Okay. So we take that uh, RPO away and we're able to get a sack because they don't really have a pass protection concept going on here, but what they are doing instead is obviously blocking their run, their run concept. Okay, so here's our flow player. Okay, he's reacting to the flow of the play, right? We're running a little twist game on the inside, and we're getting, uh, you know, good pressure on the quarterback with the stunt game on the end interior, okay? And then we're able to control that RPO with that freeze. Okay, this particular one, two by two, we've got a freeze player uh, coming from the top. We've got a fit player coming from down bottom. It's always important to see that fit player. They are going to try and block him at some point. Not every team is just going to run a bubble or a screen or something to control that guy. They're going to try and dig him out. So we do have to work on these guys when they fit, working drill work to make sure we're ready for those slot receivers to try and cut us off, to try and block us and dig us out of there. We go attack that sucker, right? And we go get down in there, okay? And we've now gone in and got to the fit. We had a good chance to get involved in this play. So you'll see from this perspective, the freeze is 14. He's going to pull out and play number two. Eight is the flow player, and the fit player is going to show up. So we have the ability of these guys to play their run fits. Eight is going to be the flow player. And here comes our, uh, our fitter. Now, this plays a lot like uh, our rock back drill that we were doing in the clear and cloudy. He's going to step this way. It's all going to go dark. He's going to end up rocking back right there. And there's our rock back fit. Okay, and we're ready to make tackles. Pretty good fit for the D-line. Obviously, that makes life a lot easier when the D-line does their job. Okay, more of the same stuff, uh, two by two, very spread type formation. Okay, so right now we've got a back uh, aligned uh, to us. Okay, so this is the freeze player. Okay, the fit player is coming from the other side. They mesh. Okay, so right now this is freezing. He's fitting. Okay, our fit player is going to, they're going to try and dig him out again with that number two. And we're going to have to go be physical with that guy. Okay, we're not going to get a chance to just get free uh, runs on this deal and always uh, get in here and be completely unobstructed. Then number two is going to come try and block 34 here. And so we've got to do a good job using our hands. We've got to be a little bit quicker at that position. Now, this is a good uh, example of the uh, fill read that we do in the clear and cloudy drill. Okay, that middle backer is getting this thing opening up wide open. Okay, and we're going to run right up there and go make a tackle. Okay, the ball does try to wind back, but he's right up in there filling. Okay, and going to make that play because it's nice and clear. Okay, more of uh, Angelo, right? This was the playoff game. Okay, so we're out here. There's our freeze player. There's our fit player. There's our flow player in the middle. They mesh, our freeze player's staying nice and patient. Now he sees open hands and he's gonna start tempoing in. This is exactly what we were working in the drill before. He's gonna start working in, okay? And he's gonna get involved in the play. On the other side, our fit player, okay, is coming in to fit the run. And that does affect what our safeties and our corners do in terms of coverage. On this particular side, these guys have to end up playing this a lot like cover zero because when they know that this fitter is coming, okay? And this is in a two by two quarters concept, obviously. Okay, and that's the kind of coverage concept uh, that we would use the fit flow freeze uh, mechanic for. 
You can see our fitter is going to slide down in there and get involved in the run fit. He comes in and makes the tackle. We would love for him to make it a little bit sooner. Uh, I think he could make this play uh, with a little bit less yardage gain, but he does a good job of at least understanding his fit, getting involved quickly and, and making it, holding it to a gain of uh, one or two. Okay.